Welcome back everyone, in this tutorial I'll be teaching how you can make an echo reverb effect. To get started of course you need some music file, so I'm placing mine over the timeline. And let's say that you want to end the music right here. You can use the razor or Ctrl B to make a cut over the audio. And then delete all of the remainings on the right side. The next step is going a few seconds back around here and make another cut and then make a duplicate by dragging it down holding the ALT button. In case you're wondering why I'm duplicating the second part and that is because I want to keep the original audio while the reverb kicks in and have the smoother transition in between the two audio tracks. As you can see I'm extending the duplicate and then going at the end of the first one and while the second audio is highlighted select the keyframe on the volume and then move one frame forward then go back on the volume and decrease it to about minus 90. And so far we're having just a keyframe that is reducing the audio nearly to zero. The next step is going to effects library, audio effects and looking for a reverb, you can type it in the search box. Then grab it and leave it over the second audio file. And then the reverb panel should appear. And the first thing that I'm gonna correct here in the reverse panel is the room size. You can find it here on the left side, by default it is looking like a rectangle. To adjust the size of it, just simply grab the corner and adjust it manually. So in my case I'm gonna reduce it to around 40. I found out that between 40 and 45 works well. The second correction is on the reverb time. And just by itself you can get the half job done, just by increasing it all the way to the end, which is 4000. And next I will increase just by a tiny bit the brightness and the distance. And also you can play around with the reverb tone, you can increase the low frequencies or decrease the high frequencies if it's too noisy. Next thing is the dry and wet, which by default is set at on 100, but if you feel that you want to decrease the overall effect, you can dry it up a little bit like I do, simply by reducing the values. In my case I'm doing it to around 80. And last but not least is the reverb, as you can see from the graph, this reduces the amplitude of the reverb and I'm not liking it when it's all the way down, so I'm gonna reduce it by a little bit, something like minus 8 or so, but you can experiment and see what fits better. And now I'm gonna play it and see what we're having. And overall I think it's decent. I know that it might need some bit more adjustments. But I really hope that video was useful, if that was the case, make sure to like, comment and subscribe to not miss anything else. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.